Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Max Warframe. So we've had an absolute butt ton of weapon changes recently. Enough to keep me doing one of these videos basically a day for months and there's more coming too. However, I decided to start with some of the higher mastery rank weapons and that is the Syndicate Primaries. This video is going to be on one weapon I've actually never done a video on because it was so uninspiring and kind of rubbish. But in the balance pass it got a huge buff and that is the Telus Boltor. You can buy this thing from the Arbiters of Hexis for 125,000 standing with them, or from Trade Chat for Platinum. It requires a mastery rank of 12. It's a fully automatic bolt firing weapon. It's got a reduced 30 damage per shot, um, down from I think it was 50. Most of that comes in the form of puncture with a tiny little bit of impact. It's actually got no slash at all, which makes it different from the majority of weapons which have a mixture of all three damage types. Um, that reduced base damage is due to the biggest of buffs that it got, and that was crit chance, up from a pathetic 5% to a huge 30%, and the crit damage goes up from 200% to 240%, and that makes it crit viable, and with that 30 base damage, it makes it the hardest hitting of the fully auto crit weapons. Um, even the status chance went up from a also rather pathetic 7.5% to a much more respectable 16%, meaning that a status build also works well alongside the crit build. All of this is before you add into the fact the weapon has a built-in syndicate effect, and that is the truth effect. When the syndicate bar fills up by gaining XP, the weapon's going to send out a 25 meter wave of 1000 pure gas damage. That has a guaranteed gas prop on all affected enemies as well, it restores 25% of your max hit points and boosts all of the parkour maneuvers. This is easily one of the strongest weapon procs because of the damage over the time it also provides. It's a pretty nice heal too. I'm a big big fan of this proc and it's definitely a great feature of the weapon. It's not all amazing when it comes to the stats of the Telus Boltor though. The magazine size of 90 is pretty incredible, but its reload speed of 2.4 seconds can feel kind of long. Especially if you put some fire rate on there, or if you have a habit of reloading like it's Call of Duty when you've not finished the whole magazine, something I tend to do a lot of. You also have to take into effect the weapon, unlike, you know, something like the Soma Prime which is hit scan, the Telus Bolter fires actual projectiles, meaning you're going to have to lead targets, and that makes the application of damage more difficult than with a hit scan weapon. So with all these changes, how did I go about modding the Telus Bolter now? Well, I'm going to say ignore the polarities on the screenshot on this screen now. I formed this thing like 400 times at this point. We actually only need three former, and that brings the polarities on the weapon to four Vs. On the weapon, we're going with a crit and status build, so I've got serration, split chamber, prime shred if you have it. Standard shred works if you don't. Point strike and vital sense for both crit chance and crit damage. Hunter munitions for a slash proc every time you crit. And then I've got a corrosive build on here as well to strip armor too, because of the high status chance. You could change away, um, you know, change the way that you form with the weapon. Leave the depolarity on the weapon because uh, it does come with them as a standard. Uh, you could add another V, so the weapon ends up with four Vs and a D. And then you could put prime cryo rounds on there for viral, plus a slash from hunter munitions. The reason I didn't do this was because of the lack of slash on the weapon itself. Uh, so you are fully reliant on that hunter munitions to combine with the viral procs rather than getting the additional procs on the weapon as well but it is a viable option if you want to go for it so what do i think of the telus boltor after all these changes well honestly it's gone from a very very mediocre rifle to one of the strongest full auto rifles in the game i've always kind of liked the bolter when i started warframe the first thing i did in damage 1.0 was to farm up my Nyx and get the standard version of the Boltor. I used nothing else for at least six months after getting that combo. Um, the problem in the Boltor series though was that as weapons progressed and got steadily more and more powerful, the Boltor series just got kind of left behind. But from the way the weapon buffs were done, um, pure elemental weapons seemed to be a thing, uh, a thing of the past. Weapons with pathetic crit and pathetic status in this patch either got a big buff to one or the other or sometimes both the telos bolter was one of those that managed to get a pretty healthy dose of both and even though that base damage was reduced that was only done really to try and keep the weapon in check 
since when you look at many of the other crit weapons like the Soma or the Grakata, that base damage is low due to the crit boosting that damage multiplier so much higher, especially when you start taking headshot multipliers into account. So what does the Telos do well? It hits ridiculously hard, has a fantastic syndicate proc and honestly, I think it looks and sounds pretty damn fantastic too. Not only that, but it does have a skill factor to it too. Because yes, it does a lot of damage, but you have to lead targets due to the travel time and the rounds. You actually have to apply that damage rather than the ease of application that something like a Soma Prime or a Prisma Grakata actually gives you. But honestly, it's worth going back and giving the Telus Bolter another shot anyway. It's no longer the mediocre, disappointing weapon than it was previously. It is definitely one of the top fully auto rifles now. And I think they're going back and checking it out again would be something that is definitely worth it. I hope you enjoyed my look at the new and improved Telus Bolter. Uh, I've got a whole ton of videos coming up uh, looking at updated weapons, especially like I mentioned the beam weapon changes were announced last night. So stand by for those. But for now, many, many thanks for watching and I shall see you in the next video.